So this is a build a box using Fusion 360. I'm going to show you how to create this uh, kind of a simple box with a lid. All right, we're going to start with a new design. Got to turn on my origins. I'll be talking about the browser, which is up here, and I'll be talking about the timeline, which is down here. First, we're just going to create a sketch. Click on create sketch. We're going to click on the bottom, and we're going to draw the, the shape of our box. Uh, you could use rectangles, it could be circular, or a combination of those. I'm just going to do kind of a combination. Oops. Hit escape if you don't like the tool you're being used. L for line. I'm going to, I'm going to draw a line five centimeters like that. And then I'm going to get a um, circle tool. Let's see. A center diameter circle. I don't know. Like there, there, uh, you can just use whatever you want, uh, I'm not going to do that, I'm going to use the arc, because I just want, I really just want an arc, boom, there's five centimeters, so it's going to bow it out a little bit, do the same over here, okay, and then I need to do some lines to connect this, this and this to this. Okay, so uh, it is now a shape. I can stop the sketch. I can go ahead and go to create menu and I can create an extrusion using this shape. I'm going to bring it up five centimeters, which I can just type in here or whatever. Okay, notice over here in the bodies I have one body. I can click on the word body one, um, and it highlights it. I also have the sketch, which is now off. It's the first sketch I made. And there's the sketch, and there's the body extrusion I did. Right. Now I need to I need to make the box hollow. So I need to modify an existing um, uh, body. Um, it's called shelling. It removes material from the interior and leaves uh, the walls. So here's the tool box. Which uh, face or body do you want to shell? So I'm going to go over here and just click the body one. All right. if, if I don't, if you just start clicking on, it starts to pick the faces, which can um, or may work. But you see how it says five selected? I want the whole body. So I want the body. And it's just asking how thick do you want the walls? So I'm going to say, Make the mix make the walls half a centimeter. Well, maybe a little bit smaller. Let's make it three. Let's make it three millimeters. Three millimeters. Enter. I think that's right. We'll see what happens. Okay, now I need to cut a lid. Cut a lid. In order to cut a lid, I need a construction plane that's a little bit below the the top of the the body. So I'm going to create a construction plane, an offset plane, and I'm just going to make it go down. Let's, let's make the lid half a centimeter. Hit OK. Now over here we've got the construction plane I just created, and again the timeline's being updated. Now I want to split this body in half using this paint plane, construction plane, as a tool. So again in here it's very simple, it's a split body, creates new bodies dividing selected bodies using a profile, face, or plane. So again, what body do you want to split? I want to split this one, click in this tool, like which tool do you want to use to split it? I'm going to click on the plane, the cutting surface comes up, and now we have two bodies. We've got the top and the bottom. Now I can name this. This is the box. I'm just going to type in the name. This is the, the lid. Um, I can get ri I can turn the construction plane on and off if I want to as well. And you can see if I move it, there's the box. Again, to move, I use M. I click on the body I want to move, and I can use the arrow key just to move it out of the way, which actually I'm going to do. There we go. Okay. Okay. I'm going to look at the bottom. Good. 
All right, so I think that's pretty much it. Um, I'm gonna create a little handle here, like I did for this one. Um, show you how to do that. I need to actually draw a sketch. I could easily, well, I could easily use um, something like this. I could just create a, um, a lid like that. I was just using a box. I just created it on top of that. Or if I wanted to do something a little more interesting, I need to be able to sketch something in the middle of the of this um, lid. So I need a construction plane, not an offset one. Or well, actually, I could just do an offset plane. I could push this into the middle, which I know it's two. Uh, it's five centimeters across, so I know where the middle is. Um, but there's also a choice for a mid-plane. So it creates a plane between two, two faces. So if I click on both of these, do you notice how that plane just appeared in the middle? You say, okay, now there's a construction plane right in the middle over here and uh, done in the timeline. So if I, let's say I want to create a sketch on that. Boom. Okay, come over here. And then I can create uh, the handle just using some of the other tools. Let's see, I don't know. Boom, boom, boom. I really should be measuring this. Boom. Uh, L for line. Boom, boom. Um, like that. Ooh, there's a really interesting one called an offset in the sketch menu. If I click on it, I can kind of, I can make it, I can, it'll offset that same sketch or set a line. So I can just push in here and push enter. And look, now I just need to make some lines between these two points. One, two. Oh. Ooh. Huh. Interesting. I'm gonna try that offset again. I didn't. I don't think I went all the way down. Offset. Click. Hit OK. Oh, it didn't really didn't pull it down. So I guess we'll just have to tra create lines. Getting close so you can see what's going on. Uh huh. And do that. sketch. Okay, as long as it t highlights blue, you should be okay. So now I've got this, I'm out of the sketch menu. I got this um, handle that I want to extrude. Okay. And just pay attention right here. It says direction one way. If I pull it this way, it's going to make it one way. But if you click on the symmetric, it'll actually do it both ways. How's that look? And join, I'm going to, yeah, join it to the lid. Boom. Okay. Let me uh, back up with the home button. That looks nice. Ooh, and I want I want the inside. I want um I want this to fit on top of this. Okay, like so. I want it to. I want when you put the lid on top of it. I want it to, to have a little um, a bit of a lip that uh, seats in it. So I'm going to actually extrude this down. If I, um, I'll show you what I mean. Extrude. If I do this, then that will that will come down and it'll fit on. But the problem with 3D printing is this won't fit. It'll be it'll be almost perfect, but it'll be really really um, tight fitting. So I'm gonna I'm gonna do one thing differently. Instead of using this set of sketches, I'm gonna highlight all of them so you can see. Instead of using all that line, I'm gonna offset it just a little bit. So sketch, go into the sketch menu, I'm going to click on it, then I'm going to click on offset, I'm going to click it, and I'm going to, I'm going to bring it in a little bit. So it's just a little bit smaller than the original one. Now that's the one I want to extrude, so I'm going to extrude that. Let's see if I, oh that's way too much, we just need a little bit. Point 
point three. Point four. Okay. There we go. There we go. All right. All right. So now I want to print them. Oh, if we want to change, modify the, the, what, the, what it looks like, you can go either to physical material or appearance. And I'm going to go to the plastic. Here's, here's a, some plastic. Make the, the lid will be black. Um, and that's, that's basically, it's ready to be printed. Okay, so I've got a box here. I'm going to click here. Oh, I just Hey. I'm going to control. No, I saw um, a compilation yesterday. This really cool shape, the word pun. Okay. And like, Give me they're one. like 3D printed. It was actually really cool. Oh. It's like an Close. octopus. Close. Hold on, I'm doing one a one screencast. One. Okay, so if you want to print these two pieces, click on, right click on it and save it as an SDL. Just say OK. And this is the box. And then click on the lid, control click, save as SDL, hit OK, and save that. And then email those to me and I'll print them for you. Thank you very much.